have a question for the men. Do you guys still want to get married? Like, is that still a thing? Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but the answer is no. Men are done with marriage. They're walking away from it. To use your phrase, it's no longer a thing. And as much as the marriage rate has already declined, the process is speeding up even more. And there's three primary reasons why that is. First, for decades now, what have you ladies said to us? You've told us to leave you alone, go away, don't talk to you, don't approach you. You've told us you didn't need us, that we serve no value to society, that we're not good for anything, and that you can do anything a man can. We heard you, and we took your advice. The second reason is these absurd, ridiculous demands that you've placed on men with regard to dating you, let alone a relationship or marriage. The infamous sixes, for example. He's got to be six feet tall with six-pack abs, a six-figure income, and six inches you know where. And if he doesn't meet all four of those criteria, he's not worth your time or trouble. And that's just your initial criteria simply to date you. Relationships or marriage, you've got a whole laundry list of demands and expectations. A list, by the way, which even if he meets the entire thing, you'll keep adding to. It's a never-ending list and one he can never accomplish. And what are you offering in return? The answer? That's right, ladies. We're sitting here going, okay, you want all these things from us. What are you offering in return? And you know what the answer we generally get is? This. Well, this, ladies, ain't worth what you think it is. So, ladies, I say to you again, we heard what you were saying, and we've decided to walk away. Which leads me to the third thing, the one that is really causing men to walk away from marriage and relationships in general. The thing that most women cannot seem to understand is that men do not think like women do. Our thought processes are completely different than yours. Something, by the way, you deride us for all the time. You expect us to think like you do, even though we're not biologically wired to do so. We look at situations like this and analyze it. We don't focus on our feelings. We look at the pros and the cons. And that's what men have done. They've assessed the situation, listed the pros of marriage, which aren't very many, and the cons, which are huge. In other words, the risk of losing everything in a divorce far far outweighs any potential benefits from marrying you. And that's why, ladies, marriage is no longer a thing to men. And you have two options. You can keep doing what you're doing, hurling insults, telling us you don't need us and don't want us, and then wondering why we won't date or marry you. Or you can start appreciating us, acknowledging us for who we are, and that we are indeed human beings just like you. But I already know that it's going to be more of the former, than the latter. Want to find out more about how men think when it comes to dating, relationships, and marriage? Check out these videos right here. And hey, if you enjoyed this, please give me that like and let me know in the comments if you think dating and marriage is finished or if it can be recovered. I'd love to hear your thoughts.